Hello, this is Lassio. Today is Friday the 30th of July, and this is the weekly best performing charts for the week. So let's start off with Adobe, ticker symbol, of course, ADBE. This chart, as you can see, is from July 22nd. And at the time, as you can probably tell, after a sharp move up into wave one, three ways down into wave two, and then another very sharp and aggressive move to the upside into wave three, I was expecting further upside to come to at least meet the 161.8 FIB expansion of wave three, uh, sorry, wave one. So, which is of course, if you, if you know it, it's a very important Fibonacci level for and common target for wave three um, in the relationship with wave one. So I was expecting to at least meet that point since the quality which was at around $572 was met. So if you look at at Adobe now, you can see how we did have further upside. And now we're starting to see some kind of resistance. If we try to see what's happening on the RSI, so some kind of momentum indicator, we see how we are, of course, on the overbought area and we are starting to see some kind of divergence. So possibly the trend is losing momentum, which perhaps means that a crash turn is due anytime soon into wave four, which of course will present a a buying opportunity for members. So moving on to the next one, which is Baidu, ticker symbol B-I-D-U. This chart is a little bit more recent. It's from July 26th. And uh, basically, after a move down into wave A, pretty aggressive, which is very typical of wave A, I was expecting, you know, I could see possibly a complex into wave B with WXY, and then farther up downside into wave C. If we look at what's happening now, we can see how perhaps that is a possibility. We could have down in one, up in two, and then one, two, three, four, and five to make wave three. And then again, so if this count is correct, we should see a little bit more downside. So I I drew the company fib retracement of wave one. So of course that would correspond to wave six company is very common fib target for wave two, as well as the 78.6%. So and he said, yeah, it's possible that after breaking this low, we get some kind of reaction, which it looks like we're already getting, but uh, we should see a little bit more downside to come. And that, of course, that would represent an interesting buy opportunity if we do get a little bit more of downside. Also, if I take you through the weekly, so you can see a bit more of what we could expect, I can count from the low up in one, down into three, four, five of flat, um, an extended flat, sorry, expanded flat into wave two, with A, B, and C. And this, of course, would be just wave one and two of primary wave three. And if of course, that could take us much higher than, than now. If we just try to measure that in terms of where wave three could take us, of course, the you know we have uh, plenty of more down upside to come. Um, if I let's measure it, see one and two. We can see how our equality is at. 5,300 ish. So, of course, much more to come, assuming this count is correct. The what could the way I could be wrong is this was just with A or W, let's say. So, this is with X, and now we're zooming down into wave Y. This, I believe, we could all. This could all be with Y and not C, because let me take you to the daily. Once again, the initial move down was in three, not five. So this cannot be a wave C. 
because of course we, wave C would have five subwaves, but I can only count, you know, we, we just, wave one would not be a wave one because we have three waves, not five. So that's why I say the only way I'm wrong is this is wave X of some kind, and we are now in wave W. But so far, I don't think there's any reason to, to believe that. We can still see upside to come. Let's just wait for this Fibonacci retracement to be met, and then we'll see what's going to happen. So moving on, we have Pindudua, the old chart is from just a second, it's loading. Okay, sorry. The old chart is from July 21st. And once again, I'm expecting for the downside to come into the wave, wave C or wave four. Now, because wave one and three were near equality, of course, wave three was a bit, a little bit more, a little bit longer than wave one, that gave us the chance for wave five to be extended which of course means significantly longer than wave one and three. So we are almost met equality of wave A and C, right? Which is represented right here at $75. Um, and we saw a reaction higher. So what that makes me think is possibly, it's still early to say we have completed the overall correction into wave four. So now we just need to wait see how the pullback is going to be to the downside if it will be if it'll be in three then we perhaps can buy the pullback the next one is Roku just this chart is also from July 21st and we you know we just see one and two and then one two three four five so basically I was expecting just to wait five to come I drew the most significant fibrit uh, retracement for wave fours, which of course we know the most important one being the 38.2 and then the 50%. And uh, also the parallel channel will usually wave four kind of bounces from, you know, wave three breaks the channel and wave four trying to kind of retest it and look for more upside, look for buyers. And as we could see, we, we did have upside after this wave four, which of course was presented to members. And now we could be entering some kind of wave A of this wave four. I would expect so because we broke the previous hold and high. So that is why I would expect some kind of pullback, some kind of reaction. And uh, since it's wave four, it could kind of get sideways. Um, and that would be a very interesting thing to see because that would give us confirmation that we are resuming to the upside. So uh, the next one is Spotify. The chart is from July 20th. And once again, I was expecting for the downside to come. I was not sure whether this was wave B of intermediate degree right here, or it was just wave A of wave B. So if you look at the chart now, it looks like most likely this could have been wave B completed right there. So now what I can count is one and two, one, two, three, or wave three. So most likely wave three is still in the making and that this was just wave one, two, three, which be completed perhaps now we're going to see wave four and then one let's move down into wave five to complete wave three so yeah i would expect this low to be broken more um, significantly and then we could see downside what would be interesting to see is the relationship between wave a and b which we agree let's see where the 61.8 is and uh, let's see if okay, that will be right here on under seventy dollars. So that would be my first kind of area to look for some kind of pullback to the upside from Spotify. Because if I zoom out, we can see how I could count up to one, down in two, three, four, and five, and now we are correcting the entire move up since 
the end of 2018. So, of course, investment wise, especially, this could be a great buying opportunity for the middle to long term. So, we're talking about uh, a couple of years to maybe a little bit more than a couple of years to 20 or more. So, last but not least is Twilio, ticker symbol TWLO. This chart is from July 21st, and I was just expecting a similar. Just like Roku, I have the move to the upside to complete wave one and then some kind of reaction for the pullback. So possibly we have completed wave one. I think so also because we just broke wave B of the same degree and we know that most, most of the time wave one will go as high as the wave B of the same degree and then we will we usually see some kind of reaction to the downside in this case. So we could have started with A so i would just wait for the pullback which of course i'll be monitoring and uh, keep the members posted and we'll see what's going to happen possibly it'll be also not another interesting buying opportunity so that was it for me today let me know in the comments uh, what you think about the counts if you have any remarks or suggestions to make if you came up with a better account that's even better always interested to see what you guys think and thanks for watching.